I think that the DOJ has already decided to indict former President Trump. And what they've shared uh, with Judge Cannon is more than enough to indict him and probably enough to convict him. I'm going to uh, ask for your reaction to that, what the judge said. Yeah, I agree with uh, the judge, and, and it doesn't bode well for, for Donald Trump, and, which clearly they're going after the president on, and I absolutely believe they're going to indict him at some point after the midterm. Not only is Trump losing Fox News, this just seems to make Donald Trump look awful, just awful. And to why did he have all that secret stuff uh, at Mar-a-Lago? You know, I know he, his team has said that they declassified it, but that's news to the agencies that those mm -hmm. documents belong to. And, and Governor, he, he had... Uh, he had apparently three classified documents in his desk. But now Newsmax, the same network that gave Sean Spicer a gig after Dancing with the Stars. Okay. Yeah, I agree with uh, the judge and, and it doesn't bode well for, for Donald Trump. Watch this. Pay close attention to how the hosts preface an earlier interview in which their guest all but destroyed the idea of Trump getting away with holding classified documents. We had Judge Andrew Napolitano on the show earlier this afternoon. Take a listen to what he said. I think that the DOJ has already decided to ask a grand jury in either Miami or, uh, or Washington, D.C. to indict former President Trump. And what they've tipped their hands on, the little that they've revealed to the public and what they've shared uh, with Judge Cannon, is more than enough to indict him and probably enough to convict him. In the hopes that maybe their new guest would offer some sort of hope. Well, he didn't. And it's grade A entertainment. Uh, Rick, I'm gonna want you're gonna uh, ask for your reaction to that. What the judge said. Yeah, I agree with uh, the judge, and, and it doesn't bode well for for Donald Trump. And and unfortunately, the way that the law works and the way that the DOJ can, in essence, you know, politicize the law, which I do believe happened, it is still the law. And some of the actions that you know, Donald Trump took, for example, he should have, you know, probably applied for the special master, you know, the day it happened or the day after. Uh, you know, now that the Department of Justice has already reviewed all those documents, uh, it gives them leads to follow, even if they don't use the documents. So there may be information in there that, you know. Enables them to, you know, look at President Trump for, you know, other infractions of the law. Uh, very interestingly, though, you know, the the part that I thought was uh, fascinating was that they're going after him on obstruction of justice. So mm -hmm. while we're focusing all these confidential documents, if that is a charge brought before them, we may never see the light of day of any of these documents because that's a different and specific charge of which clearly they're going after the president on, and I absolutely believe they're going to indict him at some point after the midterms. All right. A lot of people think that when you walk into my office, I have confidential documents or whatever it may be, all declassified. But I had confidential documents spread out all over my far floor and uh, like a slob, like I'm sitting there reading these documents all day long or somebody else would be. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged, you're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.